So, does anybody know what this is? And for those behind me that don't know what it is, it's about to appear on the screen. It's a lighthouse, correct. What's the purpose of a lighthouse? It helps boats not to crash into rocks or the shore. Very good answer. Um, does anybody else know what this is that isn't a nautical reference? Anyone? What's your answer? Does anybody know this is a Christian symbol? Yes. So how is it a Christian symbol? Okay, let's find out. Let's have Isaiah turn to the second bookmark and read John chapter 8, verse 12. Jesus spoke to the people again. He said, I am the light of the world. Those who follow me will never walk in the darkness. They will have that light. That scripture saying that Jesus told the people that were listening at the time that he is the light of the world. And anyone who follows him will never walk in darkness. They will have that light too. So, as there is a light, and this actually has a light. There's a light inside the lighthouse. We pretend that that's Jesus, the actual light in there. And that the tower is us. So if we put, follow Jesus, the light of Jesus will be inside of us. So, let's continue on. Go ahead and turn to the other book one. And you'll be reading Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. If you are in the light of the world, if the signal and the world can't be hidden, also people do not fight a lamp and put it under a bowl, instead they put it on the stand, then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine themselves from others. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will praise your Father who is in heaven. Okay, so here Jesus is flat out saying, You are the light of the world. And then he starts to use examples, and he says, The town built on a hill can't be hidden. So, if you ever see a town up on a hill, there's no way to hide that. Nobody's going to have a blanket big enough to hide it or anything. And then in 15 it says, people do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Why would you light a light and then hide it? That wouldn't make sense, would it? If you light a light, you need to have a purpose for it. Instead, they put it on a stand, then it gives light to everyone in the house. So then Jesus says, in the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. So, then they will see the good things you do. And they will bring, bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. So, now I'm going to ask, in the past month, <coughs> anybody here give me an example how you shine your light of Jesus to anyone else? Maybe I, I should have backed up a bit. So, how can we shine our light to other people? The light of Jesus. Um, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, go on the sky and, yeah. Okay. How do we shine our light of Jesus to other people? Telling other people about Jesus. Yeah, okay. Telling other people about Jesus. Is there any way other than telling people about Jesus that we can shine our light of Jesus to other people? Yeah. What's that? Yes. How's that? Doing good, right? So now I'll go back to that other question. Anybody here know in the past month of an example of how they shine their light to other people? The light of Jesus? Go ahead. Uh, 
Something that you did good that was, is an example that would please God. So show work to God? By? By doing good. I know, I know. So has anybody here did good in the past month that I know. would please God? I know that. So, I'm going to jump to the punchline here. I know that for a fact that at least four of you sitting on that step right there has shown your light of Jesus to someone else. Anybody know what that is up there? Anybody recognize that? So, anybody that worked on that poster for me Shown their light of Jesus to me. I can't even read that. It says, Get well soon, Steve. And in the bottom, you can't see it very well, but it says, I love you. And there's a whole bunch of signatures on that poster of the four of them and a bunch of people behind me that signed that poster wishing me well. The Sunday following my surgery on my foot. That was an example of how you shown your light of Jesus to me. And any time that you do good, it pleases God. So go out this week and shine the light of Jesus to others just like you did to me. Okay? So let's pray. Go ahead and repeat after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I, I pray this week that I am able to shine my light of Jesus to others. 